you ready to begin? Let's start by counting backwards together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, wait. We'll finish the rest right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. Are you ready to finish counting backwards with me? Let's get going. We left off at six. Ready? Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We did it. That was pretty fun, huh? So for this lesson, we are going to be practicing counting in order forwards and backwards. Take a look at my towers. I made some towers from one all the way to 10. Can you make some towers too if you don't have yours ready? They can be any color and I use my Unifix cubes. Do you have your towers ready? Good, let's put them in order from one to 10. I've already lined up my number cards if you don't have yours lined up yet, that's okay. You can put your number cards down after. So let's put our towers in order. I'm gonna do mine and you can set up yours. There, mine are all done. Are yours ready? If you haven't lined up your number cards yet, do that now. Good. What do you notice about my towers? Yes. Don't they remind you of stairs going up? How is that happening? What is happening with each new number? Yes, we're adding one more to each tower. We started at one and we went all the way to 10. So let's count that together. Touch your towers while we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Pretty easy, huh? Now let's take away our towers for our game. Ready? I'm gonna clear mine up while you clear yours. Mine are all to the side. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this first and then you'll have a chance to play with your teacher. Here we go. Take a look at my cards. What happened? Yes. Some numbers are missing, and I have them right here. I'm gonna mix them up, and I'm gonna hold up one number at a time, and then I want you to tell your teacher where it should go. Here we go. What number is this? Eight. Tell your teacher where should eight go. You got it right after the seven and before the nine. Let's try this one. What is this number? Six, you got it. Where should it go? Yep, right after the five and before the seven. Let's see what this number is. Two, where does two go? You got it, right after the one and before the three. What is this one? Yes, 10, where does 10 go? Yes, right at the end. Can you tell your teacher what number is missing? Did you say four? You're right, and where does four go? right after the three 
and before the five. Now you can play it at home. Your teacher can do it now, or you can play this game when we're done. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to be practicing counting backwards. So let's look at our number cards again and let's point to them as we count backwards. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And what would come next? Zero! That's pretty easy too, huh? But now I'm gonna mix up all my number cards. And when I show you a number, we're gonna start from that number and count backwards to, to zero. Ready? Let's pick this one. Oh, what is that number? Nine, so let's count backwards. Ready? Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's do it again. Seven. Ready? Let's count backwards. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. If you want to even do this using your fingers, that could be fun too. Let's do it one more time counting backwards. Ready? What's this one? Two. Do we have very long to count? No. Here we go. Two, one, zero. That's pretty fun, huh? Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to say a number or show you the number and I want you to tell your teacher what comes after and what comes before. Ready? Ready? What's this number? Six. What comes after six? Seven. What comes before six? Five is right. Let's do it again. What's this number? Four. What comes after four? Five. What comes before four? Three is right. Is this hard or easy? Let's try this number. I don't even know what it is. Oh, what's this number? Three. What comes after three? Four. What comes before three? Two. You got it. Now I'm going to show you a number and I want you to count all the way from that number to ten. Here we go. I don't know what number this is. Four. Let's count all the way to ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it again. Slide that one to the side. Ready? Oh, what's that number? Eight. Do we have very far to go to get to eight? No. Let's do it again. Eight, nine, ten. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Here's one more activity to do together. I'm going to set out about five cards, and I want you to see if you can tell what numbers are missing. They're not going to be in order either. Are you ready for this challenge? Let's see. I don't even know what cards they're going to be. What is that number? Six. What is that number? Two. What is that number? Eight. What is that number? Four. What is that number? Seven. I have the rest of the numbers in my hand from one to 10. Can you tell your teacher what numbers are missing? Is it easy to tell this way? Let's try it this way. 
What if I rearrange them for you? I'm putting them in order. I would find them counting to 10. Now, does it help? Let's see if you are right. Did you say one was missing? I'll put it down below so we know they're the missing numbers. One was missing. What else is missing? Oh, nine was missing. I'll put that right there. Did you say nine? Did you say 10 was missing? Yep, let's put that below here so we can see it. Did you say three was missing? You're right. And do you know what number is in my hand? Did you say five? You're right. Was that hard or easy for you to do? Was it easier once we put them in order? Good. This would be a fun activity to practice at home with your teacher. But if this was super easy, do you know what you could do for a fun challenge? Use your number word cards. You can play the same game, but with your number word cards. So decide which game you wanna play with your teacher and have fun. I hope you like it. Bye, see you next time.